How could a flying arrow appear to be standing still in a photograph, and being in movement at the same time? In relation to time, the arrow moves through one space which is divisible into distinct parts, the part where the arrow occupies this position, the part where it occupies that position. But the instant, is not so divisible. In the precise instant of a photograph, is the arrow moving, or standing still? The arrow seems to exist, in one dichotomy of time. In fact, this dilemma reveals the existence of two different dimensions, one seemingly in evolution, and marked by the rhythm of time, and also one other, which is instability, and that transcends our dimension. The snapshot captures the essence of this other dimension, existing beyond time, space, and movement. Going back to the example, in the instant of a snapshot the arrow is one. Instead, in the course of time, and beyond the single instant, a moving arrow is never the same arrow. For example, you are now one existence, different than you are now. The change of existence, or evolution, occurs instantly. As far-fetched as it may sound, on each moment, a different arrow exists. Over a period of time, an infinite number of arrows exist, even if they are all perceived as one single arrow. What we ordinarily think of as the same object, persisting through time, is in fact a succession of different objects, though very similar, each one set into their unchanging present moment. On each moment, there is a different object, or a different person. This also eliminates the concept of time, for any sort of existence. If we could capture the present, this would be here, now, and without motion as in a snapshot. The many frozen instants, are like in a projector, moving the film from one snapshot to the next one. In the various instants, the components are unique. And even if similar, they are never the same. How could an infinite number of divisible points then exist, inside a limited space? Aristotle was first to speak about the potential infinity of all objects. Just like space, also time is infinitely divisible. How could they exist, the last moment at rest, and the first moment of motion, like those of a train that starts to move from a railway station. What is in between these two instants, since also the interval, is infinitely divisible? How could an infinite time, be contained by a limited interval? All this, is to say that time, space, and movement, are only human perceptions. This new conception, could result to be puzzling, because even though we seem to persist through time, each of us, is never the same. In this perspective from a different dimension, if there is no change for us, then, what does death, amount to? As incredible as it may seem, such event will amount to one other instant, lived by a different person, than you are, now.